Welcome to Defense News Plus. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will soon get the approval to develop a futuristic high altitude pseudo satellite in partnership with a Bengaluru based startup. The sources stated that the fund allocation for the project is likely to be granted early this month. The Hans India said the approval will come and it will take a minimum of 3 to 4 years to develop high altitude pseudo satellite before it is inducted. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is already working on its design. It is a giant leap in technology. High altitude pseudo satellite are unmanned aircraft operating in the stratosphere at the height of 70,000 feet. The solar-powered aircraft will coordinate between the unmanned aerial vehicles and the conventional satellites. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited designed and developed combined air teaming systems or CATS. High altitude pseudo satellite could coordinate in strike missions supplying information, live videos and images to the army which will decide important whether the mission is successful. The combined air teaming system or CATS will change aerial warfare. Unmanned aerial vehicles are being deployed to complete the missions nowadays. But the artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning can carry out missions autonomously but their range becomes smaller. Therefore, a manned aircraft will coordinate them in launching long-range weapons. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has got success to develop the combined air teaming systems based on artificial intelligence. Next update, Bharat Dynamics Limited inked an agreement worth Rs 499 crore with the Defence Ministry on Thursday for manufacture and supply of Akash missiles to the Indian Air Force. The contract was signed by the Air Commodore Ajay Singhal from Indian Air Force and Bharat Dynamics Limited Marketing Commodore T.N. Kaul in New Delhi. The Bharat Dynamics Limited is now exploring to offer Akash missiles to the foreign countries. Bharat Dynamics Limited is the main production agency for projects under India's Integrated Guided Missile Development Program which produces anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface weapons, launchers, test equipments, underwater weapons and countermeasure systems. The Akash missile has been successfully tested many times and is considered as one of the best missiles in its class. The company is also planning to expand its market in the international arena offering Akash missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, anti-tank guided missiles, underwater weapons and countermeasure systems to the friendly countries. Next update, state-owned Bharat Heavy Electronics Limited has backed an order worth of 1,405 crore rupees from the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited for supply of 12 nuclear steam generators to be built at the Tiruchirapalli plant. According to press release on Friday, indigenously developed 700 megawatt 12 pressurized heavy water reactors to be installed at four different locations in the country. Nearly 75% of pressurized heavy water reactors based nuclear power plants in India are equipped with Bharat Heavy Electronics Limited supplied turbine and generator sets. Bharat Heavy Electronics Limited is also likely to be the L1 bidder in another 10,800 crore rupees tender of six such 700 megawatt turbine island packages of NPCIL. The company has separate infrastructure and skilled manpower to design and develop nuclear power plants and its equipment complying with international codes and standards. Next update, India released second NOTAM or notice to airmen for the launch of experimental flight vehicle in the Bay of Bengal in between 15 to 17th July 2021. It is speculated that India might test medium range surface to air missile defense interceptor for the army. Next update, the Indian Navy's INS Kiltan anchored in the Philippines on 3rd July as part of its deployment in the Indo-Pacific region after the Navy drill conducted with a South Korean naval ship in the East China Sea. The INS Kiltan has been a significant pillar in India's active policy since it joined into the service in 2017 to counter China's aggression. INS Kilton is an anti-submarine warfare stealth corvette. The warship is the first of its kind to have a superstructure of carbon fiber composite material maintaining the stealth feature. The warship is armed with mostly advanced indigenous weapons and sensors such as heavyweight torpedoes, anti-submarine warfare rockets, missile decoy rockets and advanced electronic support measure systems, a highly advanced bow-mounted sonar and air surveillance radar. 
The warship is the third of four Kamorta class corvettes being built under Project 28. A defense release said INS Kilton portrays the growing capability of the Indian Navy and the significance of Make in India in the defense sector. The INS Kilton is posted under the Eastern Naval Command. INS Kilton is India's strategic formidable deterrent in the ocean. The warship is the flag bearer of India's active policy and India's strategic engagements in East Asia centers on naval cooperation and maritime security. That's it for today. If you like our work, then please hit the like button, share this video and do subscribe this channel to get the notification of the next video. Thank you.